In my previous video, I show you how to export this data grid to Excel file using OpenXML in the Blazor server app. When I click on the Export to Excel button, it will export the this Excel file. It shows the animal list with the name, gender, and age. In today's video, I will show you how to apply and generate the style in spreadsheet document. I will add the blue background color, bold the text, and apply the white color to the font and header cells. For the data cell, I will highlight the purpose color to the first column of data cells. The new exported Excel file will look like the image shown below. Before we demo the application, let me show you the concept first. In order to generate our custom style to the spreadsheet, first step, we need to create and generate the style sheet object. Styles sheet contains different kind of object elements like fonts, fills, borders, cell formats, etc. Cell formats contain the different combination of font ID, fill ID, border ID, etc. We need to add the cell formats ID to each cell for applying our custom style. Here is the function for creating the style sheet object. Frisk define the style sheet object. Since every style sheet at least contains the fonts, fills, borders, and cell formats objects, we have to define and initialize each one here too. We define and initialize the fonts object here. This line is the default font. The font ID is zero. This line is the font that we use for the head cell in the Excel file. The font ID is one. The font is bold and set the color to white. Next, we define the background color for header row and first column of data cell. First two lines here are taken by default. The third line, which is for header row, to set the blue background color. The last one is for data cell to set purple background color. We will use the default border style. Finally, we initialize cell format with different combination. The first cell format is for the default. The second cell format, we will use font ID is one, which is this one here. And fill ID is two, which is this one for the header cells. The last cell format is for data cell. It used fill ID is three, which is this one here. One last thing is the add these objects fonts, fills, borders, and cell formats into style sheet object and then return it. Second step, we need to create the workbook styles part for the spreadsheet document and then link it with the style sheet object that we just create in the create style sheet function. Below is the sample code for creating the workbook style part. Once we define and initialize the workbook style part, we need to assign the style sheet into style part and then save it. Final step, apply the style to cells. We need to assign the cell format ID to the cell that we want it to show the different style. Here is an example. We assign the cell format ID one to the header cells. Cell format ID one, which is this combination. Font is bold with white color and blue background. Now, let me open the Visual Studio and demo the code. But before the code demo, please subscribe my video. With your support and encouragement, I will do better. I used the same code from previous video. If you still don't know how to export the data grid to Excel, you can watch my previous video OpenXML Part 1. Here are the lines for adding the workbook style part and assigning the style sheet object to spreadsheet document. Scroll down below. You will see the create style sheet function. This code is as same as PowerPoint shown before. Scroll back up. Here is line for adding the style. Cell format ID one to header row. Here is another statement for adding the purple background to first column of data cells. Press Ctrl and F5. Let us compile and run the project. The page is opened. 
Click on the Export to Excel button. Open up the Excel file. The header row is bolded with white color and blue background. The name column is also highlight with purple color. That's all for today. I hope you like this video and learned something from this video.